All right, class, I know it looks like we're going on a field trip because we're about to board the bus, but today we're actually going to the back to school fun fair. What's the back to school fun fair? Yeah, that sounds new. We rented a convention center and hired a company named Wolfensteins and Heisenbergen that hosts games, food, and all kinds of other fun things, all of which is sponsored by our school. You know, something other than your regular old boring back-to-school orientation. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. I'm Ashley. I thought you all would like it, so come on, let's go now. Yeah! And don't forget... Principal, if you say one word about them falling up the stairs, I'm literally going to have Joe run you over with the bus. As if I already wouldn't do that! Exactly. Now open the door, Joe. Whoops! Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't worry, I'll save you, dummy! Whoa! How many times is logic going to be broken by you, Duncan? As long as this is a Ryan Eats Chicken production, I say it will never end, lad. I guess that's true. Anyway, time for you and me to get in the bus, Principal. Okay. All right, Joe, it's time to go to the fun fair. To the fun fair, we. Yeah! Hey, Duncan, you know what your name reminds me of? Don't you dare say it. Dunkin' Donuts! That's it. You brought this one on yourself. Where did you get bagpipes? From my grandfather. What are you gonna do? Blast my eardrums out? Yes. Oh no. Oh come on, what did you do that for lad? Because you are making us all deaf. So I started it, not me. Yes, and I'm ending it. No more bagpipes, Duncan. No! Joe, stop the bus! <laughs> go back, Joe. Go back. We've got to go pick up Duncan. Okay! I've got you, and I'll never let go of you again. Ah! Now drive forward, Joe, and I'll grab Duncan. You don't gotta tell me twice! Whoa. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, kids, we've made it! Yeah! Yeah! Huh? That's funny. I don't remember this place being at a hotel and the images on the website. I just followed the directions of the place you sent me! Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Come on, kids. Let's go inside. You guys up in four hours! I'm gonna go get the bus windows fixed! Uh. Ah. Alright. Head inside now, everyone. Come on, Duncan. You too. I don't think I can walk, lad. Ah. Come on. Ah. Uh, I don't think this is the place I rented out. Maybe you shouldn't have rented out a party place on Craigslist. Maybe you're right. Then we wouldn't have ended up at a furry convention. So what do we do now then? Well, no point in wasting money. Go on, kids. Have fun. <laughs>
Well, dude, I've never been to a furry convention before. I know, this is so weird. But in a good way. I'm Ashley. What? what? Why did you follow us, Ashley? Yeah, what the heck, man? I'm Ashley. He's just going to keep saying that. Come on, let's ditch him. Good idea. Oh, there you are, Ashley. We didn't know where you went. I'm Ashley. This place is so sick. Yeah, it's wunderbar. You can say that again. I'm Ashley. Well, I hope the kids are having fun. I'm sure they are. It doesn't take much to impress them. True that. Ugh. Where did everyone go? They just left me here. Oh, Lord. You've got to be kidding me. I'm surrounded by furries. If only my lads could get a good look at this place. It would probably cause chaos. Then we would be kicked out. And we definitely don't want that to happen. Oh, well. I guess now would be a good time to play my bagpipes. Stop playing those bagpipes, Duncan! Wait. Oh no. I'm back here again? Yes, I'm afraid you are. You know, the funny thing is, Joe wasn't even the one who caused chaos this time. It was Duncan! Indeed, sir. His bagpipes absolutely destroyed that hotel. I know. <laughs> Logic, am I right? Actually, Ryan eats chicken. True that. Well, at least I'm nice, safe, and cozy in this hospital bed. I'm not so sure about that, sir. What do you mean? Well, how do I put it? Let's just say there may or may not be a plane flying right out the window. Well, that's no surprise. <sighs> just let it happen. Well, that was weird. You can say that again. Where's the dumb non-logic that should have happened right there? Ah! I spoke too soon. Well, at least it was him and not me.